Well, we have had plenty of rain so far this morning. Here's how things look for us in terms of rainfall totals so far. Uh, some pretty healthy ones over an inch in Atlantic, Des Moines, uh, Marshalltown, Waterloo over two and a half inches of rain. Decorah over two inches of rain. So while some have not quite gotten in on uh, very much, uh, Iowa City, uh, Tomwa, Burlington, uh, hardly anything, Dubuque as well, Others uh, have had uh, quite the, the feast of precipitation. That's why those flash flood warnings have been in place. Flood watch remains for us here through the evening hours with continued rain chances through the rest of the day. So your thunderstorm watch also in place. That one until 1 p.m. for us here in those shaded pink counties. Damaging winds, some large hail possible. We'll turn that threat around as we head into the later hours of the day, late afternoon, evening, and uh, we'll watch for the potential of damaging wind and tornadoes during that time. Hail still a possibility, uh, but again, kind of upping those wind threats here. And your first alert storms are highlighted through the rest of the day in that uh, highest level for us here on your first alert. We'll keep things winding down this evening. We'll be much calmer for the overnight hours for us here. This is Light Pinpoint Doppler radar. Rain that we've had through the morning hours continues to push through our northeastern zone. We do have one severe thunderstorm warning uh, in place there uh, to the southwest most parts of the TV9 viewing area now nudging up along that I-80 corridor. Mahaska and Powashik counties there, uh, but this one will be allowed to uh, go away. It looks like as that hail size continues to uh, drop down on it uh, and by the latest that the National Weather Service is saying with that. So that storm uh, may be slightly misplaced on the uh, the future cast system modeling kind of having a tough time with all of the different rounds of weather. You'll also notice here uh, as we start off at noon on this model, there's not a lot of activity in our northeastern zones. So that could play a role into how this model handles stuff later on today. If we're able to get some clearing, though, uh, and able to recharge that atmosphere, we're watching for a line of storms moving through past that I-35 corridor for 5 o'clock or so, continuing to see activity through the evening before winding down around 8 or 9 o'clock here tonight. Heavy rain remains a possibility, especially in our northernmost counties here throughout the rest of the day. Again, that severe weather potential encompasses all of eastern Iowa. Damaging wind, tornadoes, large hail, also flash flooding. Uh, still a concern for us here through the rest of the day. Looks like our latest update has come in. They have not upped us uh, to the next level. They have kind of uh, shifted that shape around, though. So that is the latest thinking from the Storm Prediction Center branch of NOAA. Here's a look at those severe weather threats again, uh, kind of breaking them down for us. High winds could certainly uh, exceed that severe threshold of 60 miles per hour up to uh, maybe even that 70, 80, 90 mile per hour mark in some storms just due to their innate quick moving nature. Hail could exceed that two inch uh, mark at times and a couple of, of strong tornadoes, a possibility for us as well. Temperatures here today in the lower 80s as we get a little bit of clearing here this afternoon. Tonight storms end early. We're down into the lower 50s. Wednesday, Thursday we will dry things out, cooling things down too behind that storm system. Much cooler air works its way in. We're only topping in the middle 70s tomorrow, upper 70s by Thursday, and another round four storms possible by Friday. Jackie.